Okay, today we're going to talk about Adobe Arrow for the PC. First, we start out by creating a new one. Project, giving it a name. So, new practice. New practice. And then you go ahead and click OK. All right, you have your starter assets here where you have your abstract shapes and so on and so forth. You also have, we'll just pull out one and an animation. I like the little girl that bounces the ball. We're going to do that. Yes, click on it and it begins to spin around. It already has a platform, so you're good to go. All right. She should fill this up in a second. Okay, she's filled it up. Now you can move it around by grabbing one of these guys. Move forward and backwards or sideways. You can also adjust the landscape a little bit by using this tool. It's the guy right here. All right. Now, I know I tried earlier to put a background in behind her. I have the background with me right now. But I think we're going to try to do that again in a minute. But what we're going to do now is go ahead and click it. Then we want to go ahead and animate it just to show you what it can do. You click the animation button down here or the behavior button. Then you go over here to trigger. Click start. And then choose an action. The action we want is animation. I want to show you guys what she does. You go ahead and click over here the animation button and she bounces her ball. All right. Great. I can make her a little bigger, but I'd like to put a background behind her. So we're going to try to do that. Um, let's see what we have here. Okay, you can choose the tools. Then another thing is you can also set up another trigger just by clicking this button and say start. And then what happens is you create another action. The action here can be spin or bounce or um, pretty much show, hide, any of these guys. I'm going to go ahead and say spin. Okay. So, you click that, she'll spin. All right. Okay, we go over here include, and click this button here. Bring in an asset of some sort. Go ahead and click pictures. And uh, we'll just choose one. Of these. Go ahead and choose one. I'll pull up one of these greeting cards and just pull one of those critters in there. That's kind of big, but uh, that's really big. Let's go ahead and do this. And then open. All right, shows up behind her. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this forward. Actually, we can go ahead and turn this screen around a little bit here. All right, go ahead and click on that a little bit there. Make it bigger. Kind of enormous. All right, we'll make it too big. All right, turn the screen back around and. That's her background now. I'll bring it down a little bit. Just so you can see it. Right behind her. I'd really rather have a basketball court, which would be really cool. Basketball court behind her. Now it looks like she's in the picture with her. Pull it forward here a little bit so you can see it a little better. By scrolling the wheel, we're going to bring it down just a tad. Go ahead and look at our preview. All right. 
pretty cool. Now what we could do is go back and click on her. Click on the basketball character. Click over here to spin. And then leave. And spin it infinitely. No, I probably don't want to spin it infinitely. Let's go ahead and say, let's say two times. That's how I do this. Let's say make that five seconds. Okay. Then we'll go over to animation. Make that play infinitely. And infinite. Roll it up to scroll it up here. Okay. Looks like we're good to go. Now let's go ahead and click this again. And put it on preview. And bada bing. So this keeps spinning and spinning and bouncing that ball. Bouncing that ball and spinning. Okay, that's pretty cool. This is just basically to kind of give you the basics of how to use this. Uh, there will be a little more tutorials in the future. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And um, you have a great day and we'll see you next time.